So I've heard that the Corinne is just another Mastiff, and I want to see which one is better by pitting both to, uh, against each other. So well, let's find out. Let's start with the cost uh, first. So obviously the Corinne is more expensive to build than the Mastiff. With um, the stats, so let's look at the hull strength. It's got the Mastiff is actually more, um, I guess, stronger. It's got more strength in the hull, more health, so it wins that point. The armaments both carry the exact same um, amount of can cannons, both are just 10 medium cannons, so that's the same. The Mastiff has more cargo than the Corinne, but not by much, only two slots. The, the Corinne is faster than, than the Mastiff, and that can mean a lot when it comes to sailing. And the Corinne has a lot more round, st round shot storage than the Mastiff, um, which doesn't really mean much in the, in the grand scheme of things, but I thought I'd include it anyway. Well that's the stats for you. Right, let's test the maneuverability of both ships. First of all, we'll start begin with the turn rate. So not much of a difference. Basically the turn rate's the same for both, basically. For this next test, I headed to the Eastern Seas. This test was to see what ship was better, crosswind and downwind, and Eastern Seas route wind route was perfect for the test. Here is the wind route. That dot in the middle of the map are three rocks where the wind blows around, and they call it the wind rock because of that, and the circle of the wind expands out to cover the whole map. For this test, the wind was blown anti-clockwise, so start starting out from Corsica, my wind route is mostly crosswind, so that so that's the crosswind test. Whoever reaches Weymouth first wins the test, and we'll be able to see how, by how much the winner is better uh, in the crosswind test. And yeah, the journey back to Corsica is mostly downwind, so that'll be the downwind test, and same same scenario. Both ships you see are sailed by me on separate occasions, and I just put both footages side by side. I try to keep to the route as close as possible to make it accurate. See what we get? I probably won't be talking uh, throughout the footage. I'll speed it up as quick as I can because it's just boring sailing. But yeah, feel free to skip towards the end of this footage if you like. See you when uh, the race ends, I guess. And there you have it then. 13 minutes it, take, it took the Mastiff. So the Corinne's better at crosswind, which obviously makes sense because if you know anything about this game, the um, Latin sails which the Corinne has make it make the ship better at crosswind. And um, yeah, there's not much of a time difference. Just two minutes really. 
Alright, let's see which one fares better going downwind. Back to Corsica. Alright, so I've obviously sped it up again. This is going to be a quicker race because it's going downwind. Um, and basically in a straight line, back to Corsica. You can tell by the flag that it is upwind, it's not as crosswind. Now, I'll tell you this now, the Mastiff has square sails, so that should make it quicker while sailing downwind, whereas the Corinne has Latin sails, and so it should be slower uh, sailing downwind. Right, so the Mastiff was faster than the Corinne downwind, but only by about 10 seconds. And if you're an experienced player and you knew the Mastiff would win, well, now you know by what extent it's better. So, yeah. So there you go then. Um, the Corinne is better crosswind and the Mastiff's better downwind. And also the Corinne lo just looks better than the Mastiff, I would say. I would have to say that uh, a ship with that does fares better crosswind is more manoeuvrable. So I think the Corinne is a lot more manoeuvrable, uh, it, it goes faster in two directions, whereas the Mastiff will only go faster in one direction. That's how I would say it's more manoeuvrable, but uh, well yeah, there we go. Yeah, downwind, Corinne is still going to be outrun by the Mastiff, but very, very slowly. The Mastiff's still slightly faster. Somewhat the same, but yeah, well, there you go. That's downwind. So if you were going to get the Corinne, then you will be sacrificing two cargo, uh, the profit of two cargo, for a little bit more speed. That doesn't really make much difference, I suppose. Whereas if you get the Mastiff, you'd you'd have the profit of the two extra cargo, but you'd get there very slowly. It's your choice. I just thought it'd be interesting to show you the the very nitty gritty details of of. Um, the two ships. So yeah, that's the very, that's the difference essentially, the profit that you can make from the two ships and the speed. And uh, I'll see you in, I'll see you in the next video or in game. Fair weather.